Hello, my name is Sanjay Gangadhara, and in this video we will take a look at the new 2D and 3D charting capabilities in Optic Studio 14. An example of 2D data are shown with the FFT MTF plot. By default, this plot shows data for all of the fields in your optical system. If we wish to remove data from any particular field from the view, we can simply uncheck on the corresponding box in the legend. Data may then be added back to the plot by rechecking on those boxes. Quantitative information about each of the curves in the plot may be obtained using the active cursor, as shown here. However, this method is slightly inaccurate, as it relies on using mouse position within the window to ret return values for the xy coordinates on the plot. More accurate information can be obtained using data markers. To add a data marker to a curve, we simply right mouse click on the curve of interest and select insert data marker. This places a marker on the curve which returns the exact xy values on the curve at the point where the marker has been placed. We can then slide the marker along the curve to get accurate information for x and y anywhere along the curve. Data markers may be inserted on multiple curves simultaneously, allowing us to access this information for all of the curves in the plot. And then the markers can be removed in a single click using the Remove All Data Markers option. The range of data which are displayed in this plot can be dynamically modified using the markers which are placed on the corners of the plot axes. We simply click and grab on any marker to be able to zoom in or zoom out on the data scale. And this can be done as shown here along the y-axis as well as along the x-axis. If we want to provi provide explicit information for what the x and y scales or x and y ranges should be in the plot, we can do so again using our right mouse menu to edit the axis options and input data explicitly for the x and y dimensions of the plot. An example of 3D data are shown here with the wavefront map. Quantitative data from this surface may be again be obtained using the active cursor. In this case, we get not only X and Y data, but Z data as well. So we're able to read the height directly off of this surface plot. We can also use the right mouse click menu to enable a number of features on this plot. For example, we can pan and zoom over the surface, allowing us to look at this plot at a variety of camera orientations. We can also modify color of the surface, changing, for example, from this color palette that's shown here to a white scale color palette. Contour lines can also be added on top of the plot. And by rotating this view then to look top onto the plot, this basically provides us with a contour map of, of the plot. We can also add a wireframe on top of this plot, which provides a little bit of visual acuity to the plot uh, and provides a little bit of distinction uh, as we're rotating the view. Using the scroll wheel on our mouse, we can zoom in or zoom out on the plot to look for particular details. And then again, using our right mouse menu, we can reset the zoom at any point as well as resetting our camera view direction or our orientation of view at any point as well. Sidewalls can be added to the plot, which allow framing of the, dis of the display, which may be useful for providing this information in a presentation or a report. And finally, data ranges can again be dynamically modified on the plot using markers, which have been placed on the corners of the axes just as we saw with the 2D data. And it, just as we saw with the 2D data, those values can also be explicitly defined under our Edit Access Options menu in the right mouse menu for the plot. 
Now for both 2D and 3D data, access to the text output is immediate, and it does not require a recalculation of the data. To get text output from each of these analyses, we can simply click on the text button, which is located at the bottom of the plot. With these new tools in hand, user productivity will increase significantly with Optic Studio 14. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you have any additional questions about Optic Studio 14, please contact us at sales at zmax.com.